Hello everyone, this is Mary and welcome back to my channel, Ancestral Beginnings. So today we are going to be making um, maybe a Mother's Day gift or in honor of your mother. We're going to be taking a vintage brooch and one with a circle or a hole in the middle and we're going to be adding our own pictures and then covering it with resin so i you know i see these um plain brooches all the time and they seem to get overlooked they're not exciting enough. People aren't, you know, people don't buy them. They're the last to uh, get, get sold. So, um, you know, I thought, why not put a picture inside? So that's what we're going to do today. And I, rather than going over the supply list now, I will have the supply list in the description box and I'll have some links to to where you can get some of the supplies so first thing I wanted to talk about was uh, the brooch itself now there are certain brooches that will work and some that will not so these three in front are three that will work um, and let me zoom in just a little bit more whoops wrong way okay so if you take a look on the back of your brooch uh, this is just a level ring no problem this will work this will um, allow a piece of paper card stock you know whatever you're backing your photo on um, and it will stay it will stay level so uh, this is good this is also another one that is will work it's not completely um flat but it will work and then this one will work also you can see that it's flat all the way around or has you know a level spot all the way around so that will work too now I'm going to show you a couple that will not work so this is a this is different it's not a real shiny silver but it is nice I like it but unfortunately as you can see there's more there's three rings and so this is not not level you won't be able to lay a piece of paper in there flat so that would be difficult to do <clears throat> then there's this one and again this has got pearls <clears throat> prong set pearls and on the back you've got you could lay the paper down but then you're gonna have you're gonna have little little spaces in between which is where the resin is going to seep and that just won't work okay so let's get these out of the way and 
the next thing is let's talk about your image. So I have decided I'm going to use I'm going to use this gold brooch. So this is my mom, by the way. Um, I think this was her college picture. So um, about 1954. Um, so I've already sized it. Her head's a little big. Eh, a little big for it. But it'll be good. It'll be good. I think it'll be it'll work. Um, so I wanted to talk about, this is just plain copy paper, and I wanted to talk about um, the type of printer that you use. So I invested in a laser jet, a color laser jet printer um, that I believe uses toner based ink. Um, it is a more permanent ink. I was finding that my inkjet printer, um, as a, a mixed media, mixed media artist, we uh, tend to lay down our Mod Podge or matte medium, lay the paper down, and then put another layer of Mod Podge over top of it with a brush. And I was finding that my uh, inkjet printer was, the ink was smearing. Now I've heard some people say that their inkjet printer prints do not smear. So you are just going to have to test that out. Um, you know, print something off, take a brush, dip it in your Mod Podge and brush it over and see what happens. Um, the reason is we need to seal this paper and seal the image um, so the resin does not saturate through uh, into the paper and make it translucent. Um, let's see what else did I wanted to did I want to say about that? Now if you don't have the capability, of resizing your uh, image and um, you know don't want to deal with that you can just go ahead and take your picture to your local uh, printing shop um, and they will resize it for you and print it out for you obviously I recommend you do um, do a few copies for sure and it only has to be on um, copy paper if you want or if you want you can um, do it on a heavier card stock um, I'm going to be backing my paper on just plain card stock to make it a little bit sturdier so um, the first thing we are going to do is um, I already, and it's much easier if you have, if you have a circle punch um, that will uh, match your uh, hole in your brooch. Um, so test it out. You want it to go, obviously you want it to go a little bit beyond so you can glue that on. Um, and so... I just so happen to have a circle punch. If you do not have a circle punch with a pencil, ever, ever, ever so lightly, um, you know, trace, trace the circle and then carefully, carefully cut it out. Uh, you can do that too. But a round circle punch makes it much much easier and let's see okay so and then also I have here's my card stock that I'm going to punch a piece out so the first thing I'm going to do I have to uh, let's see cut this leave 
a little bit of room for my hand to hold it, my fingers to hold it. Okay. Try to get it centered as best I can. There. Okay. I'm going to punch a circle for the cardstock. Now I'm going to take just a glue stick and I'm going to glue these two pieces together. And so I don't mar the finish here, but I want to get it pressed down very well. I am going to put a piece of wax paper over it and then just rub like this, okay? The first time I did this piece, um, the first one I did, I rubbed directly on the paper and I actually took off some of the ink so I don't want to do that again. Okay, I'm just going to let this dry for just a few minutes, 10 minutes maybe I'm going to leave it and then I'm going to come back and then we are going to seal this with Mod Podge. Okay, so now we're going to seal this with Mod Podge and you want to use thin, try to do a thin even coat. And go in both directions if you can. Trying to hold it down. Actually, use a toothpick to try and hold it down. There, that helps a bit. Okay. Now this is a process. Um, using doing you know thin coats. Um, you kind of have to wait for it to dry, and uh, this is going to be something where you need to have some patience. I would give myself at least two days. It's going to take 24 hours to cure. Uh, so give yourself at least two days to make this. Um, Okay, uh, we will come back in just a minute or so. One little step that we need to do is we need to put this inside here. Now, as you can see, this is not fitting because of the... Um, pin uh, ends here. So what we have to do is we have to cut notches in we have to cut notches in here. So 
take my pencil here and I've got my scissors and I just have to sort of eyeball this. Now this one, this one worked perfectly and I didn't have to do that. I had no problem. I had plenty of room on uh, each side uh, so I didn't have to do that. But this one, I have to cut a notch. So first I want to make sure I've got this in the right spot. I need to make sure it's, which it's not. I'm going to turn it around this way. Okay, bring it up a little higher. Okay, that looks good. Alright, let's give this a try. <clears throat> it's always better to take not enough away than take too much away. Got the notches pretty good. Let's see. Okay. Not bad. I'd like it to be up a little higher. All right. That's better. Okay, so we've got that pretty well. Okay, very good. All right, I think that's good. All right, we're going to continue with our Our Mod Podge, okay, to seal it. Okay. Okay, we're going to let this layer dry. And then we'll do the back. Okay, now we're going to do the back. I put my brush in water because it was, seemed like it was starting to get stiff and dried out. So I put it in water. I squeeze the excess water onto a paper towel. I'm going to do the back here. Let that dry. Okay, so I did a second coat off camera on the back here. And 
now the last thing we're going to do and this is just I don't know this might be um, a little anal of me and I'll explain more of it later um, in a minute um, but again the resin can soak through and get to the ends and so if you have not sealed even your edges um, the resin can seep through and um, you know ruin ruin your image so I highly recommend you just go along your edge all the way around So I made a mistake on my first piece that I did and I will show you that in a minute and explain what I didn't do and you know some of the, re the resin did seep through to the picture and uh, made a spot. Okay, so we're going to let that dry. Put my brush back in my water. I'll go ahead and close up my Mod Podge for right now. I'm going to let this dry. Okay, so now it is time to glue our photo to the brooch make sure your brooch is clean i you know washed mine with soap and water first get any oils off of it anything like that um, i am recommending e6000 to glue um, i have only had experience with e6000 um, it is a nice jewelry glue um, sticks to metal very very well um, people have talked about its uh, fumes or odors um, if you don't want to use e6000 you know if there's something else that you want to try that's uh, that's fine so I these also come in um, with the precision tips unfortunately i can't find my precision tips so we are going to use um, just a plain old toothpick and i'm just going to squeeze a small amount out on the tip and go around i'm going to go all the way around the edge just a very thin line all the way around the edge And I didn't talk about your work surface. Um, it's nice to have something that is non-stick. If you have a non-stick craft mat, that's really good. You could use parchment paper. And a lot of times when I've worked with resin, I've just resorted to um, wax paper. So it helps, you know, it helps with your gluing, even with your glue stick, you know, for things then to not stick. Um, yeah, just, it, it's helpful. If you get resin, you know, you don't want to get resin on your good work surface, your table, anything like that. 
So trying not to get too much on my toothpick, but yet get enough. Okay, I think we're good there. Now make sure you know which end is up. then just push the ends all down as best you can um, and the and the other reason is to to not get too much glue around the edges is so you don't have a whole lot you know splattering out the sides um, splattering out on the inside here I do see a little bit so I'm going to go around with the end of a pen um, and see if I can get some of that off. I'm going to try to be gentle. So I'm going to work on getting just some of this little bit of glue uh, cleaned up here and then I'll be right back. Okay. So I got the big little goobers of glue off the sides here. Um, I didn't want to be too uh, rough or forceful. Again, you know, we did put a couple coats of the Mod Podge, but, you know, it can still mar the picture or remove the Mod Podge. And this is where I wanted to do a little bit more explaining. So I'm going to zoom in again a little bit. Um, so at this point, I went ahead on my first piece, I went ahead and did the resin. Well, I don't know if you can see or not. But the resin did seep through. So this was an area that I had a goober. And I kept rubbing it with my fingers here. Trying to get that little bit of E6000 off. And I must have removed the uh, Mod Podge layers. Because if you can see, there is a dark spot right here. And that is where the resin seeped through the paper. There's also a dark spot right here. So to prevent that from happening this time, I thought of doing it on this one, but I just thought, oh, what the heck, I'm gonna just go for it. Nope. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do another couple layers of Mod Podge again to seal the edges, seal it. Okay, so um, I'm going to go ahead. You want to make sure you get the edges here when you Mod Podge, but on the other hand, you know, don't try not to get it on, on the outside of your metal too. So I think, you know, you don't really need to watch me do this, but I'm going to put two layers of Mod Podge on this now. Okay, so I got two coats on this, two thin, even coats. I let them dry in between, 
And uh, now let's talk about the resin. I am using a product called Ice Resin. It's made by Ranger. And uh, this is jewelry grade. Um, you can, I bought this off of Amazon because when I went to the Ranger website, um, they seem to be sold out of everything. So I bought this on Amazon. So you can try those two places, Amazon and um, Ranger. And they do come in smaller bottles and also um, a small amount that you can use with a double plunger. Um, and obviously it'll be less expensive. Now, if you don't want to fool around with the uh, resin, um, Oh, first of all, too, I wanted to let you know there's another um, Hobby Lobby carries a jewelry resin also, and you can get that at Hobby Lobby. Uh, might be a little bit easier for you to get if you don't want to order online. And I believe it um, works the same way. Now, if you don't want to use ice resin, there is also a product called Glossy Accents. And uh, I have used Glossy Accents before. Um, the only thing is, and it's just something that you, you squeeze out and it, it hardens and it's, you know, dimensional. Um, the only thing about glossy accents is I don't know how archival it is. And so um, it may yellow over time. Also, it may crack. But again, if you don't want to fool around with, um, you know, the resin, you know, by all means, go ahead and try it. You know, if you're using an inexpensive brooch and if you are using, you know, a copy, a photocopy of your loved ones, which I highly recommend, don't use an original picture, use a photocopy. Um, you know, it's, it's worth a try to use it. I just don't know um, how it will do over time. Um, I've had in the past where my picture yellowed and um, so, you know, that's just a risk. Um, okay, so this ice resin is uh, a part A and a part B and you use equal amounts of both. And you want to have, you want to have a cup, um, and you can get these online too, um, and you want them to have, uh, you know, markings on it. Um, I am going to use the five milliliter and the 10 millimeter markings. And, Okay, one thing I did forget, and we'll have to do this first before we even get started, is you see how this lays? That's not going to work. Your resin's going to pour right out. So I need to get something so this will lay perfectly level. So let me go get that, and I will be right back. Okay. Okay. So I'm back. Um, I had used this uh, Mod Podge mold uh, the last time and looks like it's going to work for um, this brooch too. So I'm going to just move this a little bit out of the way 
and set up my I'm going to set up my my graduated cup here, okay? And because these markings are clear, I have to what I have to do to see well you want to be quite uh, exact with your measurements. So what I have resorted to doing is so the cup is level, I leave the cup on the table, okay? And I start with my part A resin pull my chair out and I actually kneel down on the floor so I can get eye level with the cup so I can see. Okay. So I'm going to pour in part A first. Try not to have it touch the sides when you're pouring this in. Ooh, can you hear my stomach? It is growling. And then what I do is I just let it, um, I stop and I let it uh, level out. And it takes a little bit of time. It's a little thick but I let it level out and I'm pretty sure I'm just about there already. Um, let me see. I kind of turn it around so no not really not yet because there's on the back side here it just has not okay get this level It just takes a little bit of time if you want to try to be exact. Okay, I'm going to give it just one more drop. Okay, now we'll go with part B, and this is the hardener. The hardener comes out a little bit faster. Just a little tip. Stop and give it a minute to, to level out and then see where you are. Okay, so I still have to keep going. And then I'm going to stop again. Okay, maybe a couple more drops. One more drop. Okay. All right. Get back up off my knees. Now it's time to stir. The directions, always read the directions, you know, for your resin. The directions say to stir for a full two minutes. And 
And a good idea is to have your timer. Yeah, maybe I'll go ahead, grab my phone, put the timer on. Let's see. Timer. Two. Start. So, stir rather slow so you don't incorporate too many bubbles. Scrape the sides of your container. Scrape the, the popsicle stick. And when in doubt, go longer, go longer than two minutes. Um, it's better to be a little bit over stirred than under stirred. If it's under stirred and not mixed well, it will not cure and it'll stay sticky and you don't want that. So. And just for good measure, I'm going to stir just a little bit longer. You want to stir long enough until it's clear so it's not cloudy anymore. Okay, now the next thing you want to do is just let it sit for about five minutes and this will help the bubbles come to the top and hopefully some of them pop. So I'm going to go ahead and put the timer back on this time for five minutes. And uh, then we'll come back after five minutes and we will go ahead and pour. Okay, I'm going to bring this back in view. Okay. Now, I recommend not actually pouring but actually spooning with your uh, popsicle stick the resin into um, and just be very careful that you do not uh, drip onto the metal brooch itself. and just kind of coax it to the edges.
you don't need very much at all. So at this point, I believe I've gotten it all to the edges. Now I just want to look at the level. So again, pull out my chair and I am going to get down on my knees again just to take a look at it. Just to see where we are. Okay. So it's it's level. And so this is where I'm going to leave it. Now, there are air bubbles in it right now. So, what you want to do is take a lighter, and I highly suggest, you know, a lighter like this, along with a long um, tip. That way you'd have, you know, you don't, you don't want to use a cigarette lighter. Okay, and then you just wave the flame over over the resin like that and the bubbles will disappear. Now my recommendation is to come back and check for bubbles about every 15 minutes to see if there's any more um, you know that have come and then repeat the process again with the flame. Now, I've got a whole bunch of resin left over. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and um, use my Mod Podge mold here. And I'm going to um, fill these I'm going to do at least the cut the two butterflies here. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna zoom out there so you can see a little bit better. So I've got two more cups. I probably only need one, but I'm gonna pour some of the resin in one cup here, another cup, and let's see, yeah, that's good, start, and I'm going to add some glitter, yay for glitter, all right, I've got this really beautiful blue glitter, it's like a turquoise, so I'm going to add some, I'm just going to kind of wing it on the amount, but you want eh, quite a bit. Try that. Got another popsicle stick here. Stir it in. Oh, very pretty. Oh, goodness. You see that? really pretty. Okay, so my idea is to put it in the middle here of this bigger butterfly. And kind of let it spread out. Okay, let's see. I think I'll do, 
think I'll do, I'm going to try this bird here. I don't know if I have quite enough, but I'm going to do it. Beautiful blue bird. Coax it along a bit. Okay. All right. And then, let's see, what should I do? Yeah, I think, I think I don't, I think the rest of this I'll do all, um, I'm going to do pink. Maybe I should have separated it a bit. Oh well, that's all right. Let's see. <clears throat> wow, this is pretty. Okay. The idea is to do the outer wings, but the colors are going to mesh together. The way to make them not mix together is to do up a batch of resin and then let that resin solidify before then going back with the next color. So, but this way they're going to mix a bit, which is fine. And I'm going to do this little butterfly. Cute. Okay, I'm going to finish this up, you guys, and then um, we will come back the next day tomorrow and see how it all turned out i think i'll go ahead and do um yeah i'm gonna go ahead and do the owl too Okay, friends, um, I'm back. It's the next day, and let's take a look. Yeah, very nice. Okay, 
Very, very nice. All right. I'll go ahead and take out my little critters here. That's the... I'm anxious to see how this turned out with the two colors in it. Yeah, not bad. It's pretty. The owl. Okay. There's the bird. Really pretty. Okay. So I thought about possibly um, maybe embellishing these further by taking, I've got stringed pearls or even a little tiny, um, a strand of rhinestones to, you know, glue around the outside. That's an option. I've still got to decide. Maybe not. Maybe I'll just leave them as is. Um, one's going to go to my sister. One's going to stay with me. So, um, guys, if you decide to try this, um, I would love to see what you do. Um, I, you can follow me on Facebook or Instagram. Facebook, I'm at uh, Ancestral Beginnings. Instagram, my handle is at mcm.ancestor. You know, please tag me and that would be great. I would love to see what you do. Um, and let me know if you try the glossy accents. I, you know, I encourage you to do that. I think that's fine to try the glossy accents if you don't want to fool around with uh, the resin. Okay guys, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.